we're not exaggerating when we say hurricane force winds and they're going to continue to be just as strong between 70 and also in some cases gusts up to 90 miles per hour. Radar estimates are going to probably be a little higher than that because the radar is off the ground, not necessarily mixing down to where we are. This is First Alert Live Radar. Here on duty, you have meteorologist uh, Katie Horner, meteorologist Nick Bender, who's out in the field, meteorologist Pete Grigsby, Johnny Rowland's in the air. We've got you covered, and still we were talking about the biggest cell that's currently over the metro, but we want to start about this new one that has just been issued from the Topeka National Weather Service office. This one now, a severe thunderstorm warning for the possibility of wind and hail as well. You can see Princeton at 435, Stanton at 446, and Richmond at 447. That's Richmond on the Kansas side. It's this cluster that's just to the west of Ottawa, Kansas. Then we still have, once again, another chance of severe thunderstorms that are pretty much over the metro. This one now extends from Aubrey, and she's drawing a storm track because they're moving southeast at about 30 miles per hour to 35. So First alert going out toward Belton at 423, Raymore at 425, Raypeck High School also coming in at 434 this evening. Kingsville, a little farther down 50, we're looking at fourth, about 550, or I should say 450 for that one. And then this is the monster. This is the one that's produced all the, the gusty winds you saw in Excelsior Springs near the golf course and then moving farther down to the south. How bright that green is, and now that we have it in animation mode, just look for the brightest green. And that'll be an indication of where those gustier winds are going to be. And we gave you that first alert out toward Lenexa and Odessa. Every bit of hurricane force winds heading toward that area. And eventually, I would say, I want to give the first alert out toward Holden and Warrensburg for later on this evening. So let's put a storm track on that one, too. Farther down, still moving at about... 40, 45 miles per hour. That's going to put it closer to those cities I mentioned at 445 on campus near there at Central Missouri. We're talking 46. So 446 for the estimated time of arrival for those gusty winds and also the torrential rainfall. Farther to the north, Brian Johnson's also out and about. Actually, we do not have Brian. We'll try to catch up with him later on during this hour, certainly at 5 o'clock. So this is the big picture. And what we see are some of the counties, once this moves out, are lifted so that's the good news, and once this moves out, the severe weather threat should go down quite a bit. But still, as we talked about the last couple of days, damaging winds will be number one, hail number two. We've had reports of one an inch, one and a half inches hail in size. So once again, I would say definitely park the car under something a little more sturdy than leaving it outside. Let's take a look at the exclusive First Alert 9-day forecast to let you know what you can expect. Believe it or not, the humidity goes down with these thunderstorms. That's going to cleanse the atmosphere somewhat. It'll actually be a little more comfortable on Sunday, too, for the match. 91, then it just stays hot on Monday, back to the 80s for the rest of the nine-day forecast. But certainly calmer weather. We just have about two or three more hours to deal with this. Then it should be smooth sailing.